עברי לידר, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. עברי, uh, like your name indicates, you have been uh, now for quite a while in the leadership of the Israeli music uh, doing and industry in Israel. And we are wondering, Ivory, how did it all start for you? Um, well, my journey with uh, music started when I was five. I started playing the piano and you know, I was playing classical piano for many years and then moving on to jazz and, and pop and rock and you know, having bands. And I went to an art high school, started to be really interested in production and music for dance and, and theater and film. Um, which was actually my dream at the time to, to score films and do stuff like that. I wasn't a singer, but then eventually something evolved and I started singing my own songs and um, became the singer-songwriter. And, um, lucky us. Lucky me also, because <laughs> I get to do what I, what I love, you know, and it's, it's really cool for me. And then I got my first uh, record contract and uh, just... put out an album and it went really well so since then that's what I do mm-hmm. and, and quite successful if I may say so thank you and uh, recently in addition to your wonderful success uh, this is the time to mention that you are probably one of the most beloved musicians in Israel we are uh, reading with quite a joy that you are uh, making your breakthrough when it comes to performing abroad and With the young professionals yeah true yeah we've created the young professionals two years ago and uh, pretty fast we got signed by big labels like Universal and Live Nation and uh, it was truly really exciting and um, and now we're working a lot in Europe and starting to do the same in North America and uh, it's it's pretty amazing to be honest uh, to work with all those people and to start to understanding the, the you know the music scene outside of Israel and to be a part of it and you know to be a part of festivals and, and, and playing gigs all over it's it's pretty cool and switching from Hebrew to English comes natural by now yes it is I think I can I can uh, uh, <laughs> sing you know I can really go easily from one to another for uh, writing in English it took me some years to to uh, I've been writing in English for a long time. It took me some years to feel with just with myself that I'm at a point where I can really express myself well in English. I think it's not easy, you know uh, because text is something that's very important for me in my Hebrew music, so I want it to be as important in in the English stuff that we do. So I think it's different languages, but I think i I worked and 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 learned how to. express myself in English in a, maybe in a different way than Hebrew but in a way that I feel is interesting mm. not uh, too many people might remember that but we do okay you started uh, composing for a dance company I did yeah. Pacheva I did yeah. if I'm not wrong it was Zina it was Zina I did one piece with Ohad Naharin in the Netherlands a year before and then we came to Israel and we did Zina true yeah. mm-hmm And in addition to that, it's not only dance that interests you, it's also cinema. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, it was my dream to score films. And I, actually, before I, before I released my first album, I wanted to go to UCLA in, in, in the States and, and study film scoring. And, but my parents didn't have enough money to send me there because <laughs> uh, it's very expensive. So, so I stayed in Israel and I said to myself, okay, I'm going to work and I'm going to save some money and go. And, At that time, when I was working to save money for UCLA, I got my album released here, and then, you know, it went really well, so I didn't go, but um, I was lucky enough to be able to score films anyway, you know, Yossi and Jagger, and Walk on Water, and The Bubble, that's films that I, I was, uh, I made the music, and it's something I really like doing. And uh, beautiful scores, if we may say so ourselves. Yes. Ivry, when you look at the, the Israeli music scene, I am hesitating if to use the word industry because I don't like it that much. <laughs> yeah. How would you characterize it? How would you describe it? Are you happy with what you see? Well, artistically, I'm very happy with what I see. I think there's a lot of 
big challenge here and uh, I think the world is starting to recognize it. I think there's something uh, very interesting that's happening here. I think the production levels went up a lot, you know, since I started working. I think today things are much better, it sounds really good, a lot of it, and people pay a lot of attention to details and to production and to aesthetics of music. And um, I think there's, there's an in interesting combination maybe because of the origins that people come from, you know, and because it's such a small place with so many people from so many different places and cultures and sounds that it creates something pretty interesting and uh, very diverse, which for me I think it's great. I think I like diversity in music and I think it's really cool that it's like that. Industry-wise, I think we have places to go and I think we have things to improve and to build a good industry that is good for the artists and give them the right um, playing ground and the right way to develop and to invest and, and you know, mm -hmm. and to be able to, to do that for a living. Mm -hmm. What can we wish every leader <laughs> for the future? Mm, happiness, um, just plain... I want to be able to keep doing what I what I'm doing to be able to to wake up in the morning and say well you know that's what I love doing I feel great doing it I'm being creative I'm you know I hope to keep inventing new things and creating new things and you know just play with people I like and stuff like that so uh, from one every to another We wish you exactly that and thank much you. more than that. Thank you, thank you. Todah rabah, every leader. Todah rabah. Shalom. Shalom.